Welcome to Streamline News for Monday, February 28, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Another weekend of college conference championships is over, with two conference meets providing a lot of nail-biting drama in the team race. Just as they did two weeks ago in their dual meet, Stanford and Cal battled it out for the win at the Women's Pac-10 Championships, with the Cardinal on top this time by just 22 points. Stanford was winning by 61 points going into Saturday's finals, but Cal began chipping away at the lead as they outscored Stanford in a couple of events and won the 400 free relay. USC placed third in the team race, but were no slouches, winning eight of the 21 events last week. Now, the margin between Stanford and Cal was close, but at the Big 12 women's meet, Texas's victory over Texas A&M was much closer, just 17 points. Carly Bispo was the key swimmer for the Longhorns, winning all three of her individual events, the 200 IM, 200 free, and 100 free, and was part of Texas's four winning relays. Freshman Camille Adams had a great Big 12 debut for the Aggies, winning the 500 and 1650 freestyles in addition to placing second in the 400 IM. The conference victory for the Texas men's team was clinched after Friday's finals, and they were so far ahead that the Texas Athletic Department had issued a press release before Saturday's finals saying the Tower at UT was already scheduled to be lit in honor of the team's conference win. By winning all the events on Saturday, Texas won the meet by 235 points over Texas A&M. Jimmy Feagan won three events for the Longhorns, taking both sprint freestyles and the 100 fly. Michigan never trailed in their team win at the Big Ten Championships, defeating a rejuvenated Indiana team by 74 points. Dan Madwed provided the big fireworks on the final day, breaking his meet record in the 200 fly with a 141.70, the fourth fastest time in the country. Kyle Whitaker had a very good conference debut as a Michigan freshman. On Friday, we told you about his win in the 200 IM, but Whitaker also won the 400 IM and was second in the 200 fly. And Purdue's David Bedaya had no problem sweeping all three diving events, breaking Big Ten records each time. Now, if you missed any of the action from Conference Swimming, you can go to our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com and read all the recaps posted there. Matt Elliott and Kevin Cordes stepped up at the Illinois High School State Championships last weekend and nearly broke the national high school record of 53.66 in the 100 breaststroke. In the prelims on Friday, Elliott posted a 53.87 to Cordes' 54 flat. The following day, Elliott was a little faster, 53.80 while Cordes was second with a 54-16. Elliott will take his talents to the University of Florida this fall, while Cordes has signed with the University of Arizona. Breaststroke King Kasuke Kitajima returned to Japan to sweep the breaststroke events at the Short Course Nationals, breaking the Japanese record in all three. He started off with a 57-34 in the 100 breasts, breaking the national record by just a hundredth of a second. The next day, he swam a 26.68 in the 50 and 202.95 in the 200. After swimming the 100, Kitajima wasn't extremely happy with that swim, saying he had a difficult time with the logistics of short course swimming. But his time in the 200 proved his strength in that event as it was one of the fastest swims in textile, just off Ed Moses' 202.92 from 2004. And as a side note, Kitajima was in the race where Moses swam that time, which had been the world record until 2009. Kitajima's fellow breaststrokers were dejected in post-race interviews when talking about Kitajima's dominance. Naoya Tomita, who was second in the 200, is the reigning short course world champion in the 200 breast, but after losing his 200 breast national record that he set in Dubai last December, Tomita said he believes he has no chance to beat Kitajima at the 2012 Olympic trials. And after finishing in third place in the 200 with a respectable 204.6, Yuta Senega set told the media he was retiring. I have no desire to make the London Olympics, said Sunega, who placed 13th in the 100 breast at the Beijing Olympics. Also swimming well in Japan was Raisuke Urie in the 200 back with a 149.78, which would have won the bronze medal at last December's World Championships and improved on his national record of 149.92. In diving news, China continued its hot streak at the second stop of the FINA Diving World Series, once again winning six of the eight events. Russia won the, went, won the men's 3-meter synchro and women's 10-meter platform to keep the Chinese at bay. Next up in the series is a stop in Montreal on April 28th. Ian Thorpe's stay in the desert climate of the United Arab Emirates appears to be brief. The Olympic legend is reportedly about to travel again to Switzerland, where speculation abounds that he'll train with Gennady Turetsky, the coach who helped Alexander Popov and Michael Klim win Olympic gold medals. 
Thorp hasn't officially disclosed the name of the person who will be training him in his quest to make Australia's Olympic team, but the Australian Associated Press has confirmed Turetsky's name from those in Thorpe's camp. Well, that's going to do it today for Streamline News. We'll see you next time.